patients are coming to us nowadays even ask about immunotherapy even before we discuss or suggest any therapy. It's incredible uh, how uh, uh, excited and interested patients are in going to immunotherapy. And we're happy to hear that. If anything, uh, a very important uh, discussion is about explaining what uh, the treatment means. In addition to that is what to expect from it and how to make sure uh, we look carefully for whatever side effects it might cause. Uh, so uh, immunotherapy, uh, if anything, uh, compared to other treatments for liver cancer, including, for example, the Nexavar immunotherapy, can actually make tumors shrink. And this is very important to know that your tumor might actually get smaller because of the immunotherapy effect. And for that reason, don't be surprised if the doctor come and say, great news, but the tumor is smaller. That's very important. On the other hand, please do remember that sometimes immunotherapy goes or work a little bit in a indirect way. And as such, when you are calling all those great guys from the immune system to fight the cancer, it might cause some inflammation around the cancer that might look as if the tumor or the cancer is bigger, even though it's still reacting. And don't be surprised if your doctor come to you and tell you, by the way, your cancer appears bigger, but we think this is only because the immune system is trying to help against the cancer. We would like to keep you on the same therapy, especially because you're doing great. And this is a scenario that might, you might witness in regard to treatment for the liver cancer with immunotherapy. As we know, responding to a specific therapy might depend on a certain uh, aspects of the cancer of the patient that will say, okay, this therapy will work per se. And uh, you probably have heard about some of those uh, notions of uh, uh, certain mutations that can occur or certain activations that can occur in the cancer itself that will actually uh, help limit the activity of the immune system to fight the cancer. And among which probably hear about PD-1, PD-L1, something of that nature. Interestingly, in regard to liver cancer per se, we have not seen so far any value for those markers. So please don't expect that you should not get the therapy or you should get that therapy because of the expression of PD-1 that you have. It really does not matter, at least based on what we know so far in regard to that treatment. It's also very important to remember that uh, uh, when uh, a patient starts on the immunotherapy, uh, side effects might happen. And uh, uh, if anything, uh, they can range from very subtle uh, uh, side effects uh, that imply that the immune system is active, including a possible rash on the skin a possible diarrhea, uh, but also it can go to more pronounced situations, including a lower function of the thyroid, like a goiter, or even potential diabetes. Most importantly, however, probably the best advice is anything you don't like, anything that you hear or see or feel differently, call your doctor because it will be something very important to make sure and verify if it's related to the immune system therapy or not. Now, if this is to happen where the immunotherapy can cause some side effects, thankfully, many of them are totally controllable and we can control them and we'll be able to continue the therapy as if no concern per se. And please do understand that immunotherapy is not chemotherapy at all. It's really a totally different world in regard to what side effects might get. And the classic things that you see with chemotherapy are not really what we're talking about over here. On the other hand, uh, in certain scenarios, uh, for example, among which a certain uh, liver inflammation, because immunotherapy can cause further inf liver inflammation in a liver that's already sick to begin with the liver cancer. In that instance, if we can't really uh, uh, cool it off and take care of it, we unfortunately might have to say, we tried immunotherapy, but it's not really working. We don't want to hurt the patient further, maybe it's a good day to stop it per se. And it's something, again, that the doctors will discuss with the patient and decide accordingly.